The U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center's field research facility, known as the FRF, is an internationally renowned coastal observatory located on the Atlantic Ocean near the town of Duck, North Carolina. Researchers at the FRF have kept watch on the coast for more than 40 years, creating a vibrant research hub that remains at the forefront of coastal science and engineering today. In short, the beach at the FRF is the best studied beach on the planet. The FRF is part of Erdic's Coastal and Hydraulics Laboratory and serves as a natural lab and testbed for field instrumentation and numerical models. An ever-expanding and evolving array of sensors continuously measures waves, currents, and morphology, providing foundational data sets that have been used in over 1,000 scientific publications to date. Collecting this data requires a specialized skill set of placing delicate instruments in the energetic surf zone and keeping them there, something only possible through the expertise of FRF's operations team. The FRF was established in 1977 on a former U.S. Navy rocket and bombing range. Its iconic 1,840-foot Oceanside Pier was constructed to support the deployment of instruments in and beyond the surf zone during storms. Something new was discovered at each experiment. Startling discovery at Superduck was the shear waves. These are large fluctuations in currents when currents are expected to be straight along the long shore. This uh, discovery added complexity to our understanding of nearshore processes that also led to improved models. The decades of data collected at the FRF are a national treasure that its researchers have recently organized and made easily accessible to the greater scientific community. With all of our data being collected and processed in real time now, the FRF effectively transforms into a natural laboratory every time a storm passes up the east coast of the U.S. And what this means is that researchers around the globe can actually be testing their models that predict storm impacts uh, during the storm while it's happening because they have access to all of our real time data. The growing demand for high quality and diverse data sets drove the need for better tools from FRF's handful of teletype machines and gauges to an exciting array of modern technology that has expanded the FRF's observational footprint. So in addition to all of the in-situ wave and current gauges that we've deployed for decades here at the FRF, we've really been focused on expanding our ability to use new technology to observe coastal processes. So we can use LiDAR scanners, stereo cameras, fiber optic cable, and even unmanned flying and submersible systems now to observe the coastline. We have radar scanners that can measure waves at really far distances from the FRF, and LIDAR scanners that can measure even the movement of the smallest sand grain ashore at the beach during coastal storms. While these novel technologies were initially developed to support coastal military operations, like much of the R&D at Erdic, it too has been leveraged to solve challenging civil works problems for our nation. So the same tools that allow us to improve soldier safety by enabling the warfighter to remotely assess the coastal environment prior to a littoral entry operation, we can also use here at home to better predict and quantify the impacts from coastal storms, which helps make our local communities safer. And we can also use this technology to better understand the dynamics of beneficial nearshore sand placement. In addition, we can use these types of technologies to monitor shoreline change adjacent to channel navigation dredging projects. If it's coastal research, the FRF is one of the first places where people are going for the data, tools, and expertise needed to solve their complex challenges. The FRF research team is committed to meeting these challenges and the ones that have yet to be discovered. We are excited and ready to deliver critical solutions for our nation.